Hey guys, this is Richard. Uh, I just wanted to kind of make a video to go over some of the stuff I've been working on over the winter. Um, so one of the big things was redoing my uh, cold side uh, intercooler stuff. Um, I did have two. Let me go back here. Did have two tanks in the engine bay. Uh, one was right here. One was right here, and they were for the intercoolers for the uh, compound setup. Uh, my learning last year was that this thing makes a ton of heat. Well, no shit, right? So it heats up the um, the tanks and so the water it just hot I mean I had a big heat exchanger here for the turbos and this one's actually just for the supercharger had both of them going uh, they did good but you know it can only cool down so much when it's just getting reheated just sitting right here so big thing this year <clears throat> over the winter was to redo that so what I did was I removed those tanks and it's gonna use that cooler for the uh, for the bed and uh, this is your standard Walmart issue Igloo 48 quart cooler. Um, the only issue I had with it was the lid leaks when you take off. So what I did, so I just got finished making this tank um, that I made it to the dimensions of the cooler, so it, it fits pretty snugly in there. Um, it's pretty nice. This is actually a lid from, uh, from like a kayak or a boat or something. It was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Anyway, it works great. Um, so in there, so that's the return fitting, and you can't, well, you can see it, so I made a, uh, um, kind of a strainer type deal, and the inlet's on the, way back in there. Uh, but this, this tank is about nine gallons or so, um, obviously big enough to put, uh, some ice in or whatnot. And so where I put the, off my flashlight. So where I put the pump and everything is under here. So the one on the right is the uh, feed for the, the pump. It's a Pierberg CWA 400. Um, the one on the left is the return. Both of those are inch and a half diameter pipe. <clears throat> I'm using the uh, silicon couplers. I tried to make the, the routing as easy as I could without using a bunch of elbows and fittings. Uh, and this worked out pretty well. Um, inch and a half line. You don't have to use the bright colored stuff, but this stuff is pressure rated so I didn't know what kind of pressures this thing would make so I wanted to be on the safe side um, the section in here I did add a quick release coupler um, so that does make it pretty easy to drain if for some reason I can't get to the return fitting <coughs> so making this fit was probably the most challenging part ah well you can't really see it but um, let me get from the top. So I made a couple of fittings that separate the flow to feed the three intercoolers in parallel. This is this is one of them. I think the return side. Uh, but basically, it splits from the one and a half inch to three uh, three quarter inch hoses and feeds the two turbo intercoolers separately, uh, as well as the supercharger. So they're all three are in parallel and they all return in parallel. One thing I did add after the first test drive was I put the supercharger heat exchanger back into the loop after the supercharger. Um, this is just to have some control over the heat going into it. Uh, because if you don't have any type of cooler in the setup, then there's, you know, if it starts getting hot, there's nowhere for the heat to go. <coughs> now, I know the, the internet's going to say you don't want that with a pure race setup because it'll warm up the water. Well, that's only true. If the water coming out of the supercharger is cooler than the ambient and so I have a feeling the water coming out of there will always be hotter than the ambient because that just soaks up all the heat from the engine plus the plus the air that's been compressed twice so my wager is this will always help versus hurt uh, I don't have enough sensors installed to get real data on that but just anecdotally the water does not get as hot with this in the loop uh, I may even add the big one back in uh that's pretty much it um the pump is a beast like it's a uh, like i said a p uh, a pierberg cwa 400 and it's uh they come stock on like late model bmws uh turbo four cylinder stuff like 2012 and later uh not that expensive um and i'll i'll add on a couple of videos of different flow situations to after this to kind of show you but 
I think the flow chart says it moves something like 50 gallons a minute at 15 PSI uh, resistance, which is a ton, uh, and it, it definitely does that. So, I mean, the pump, I think I paid 150 bucks for the pump and the connector, which you have to order from Germany. Um, it's not too bad. And uh, just a generic Amazon PWM controller that works great for like 12 bucks. So I'm, I'm excited to see see if this setup will, will work better this year. At least I can use ice easier and at least control it better. But uh, we'll see. I just want to give you a quick update. This is a 30% uh, duty cycle, and you can't really see it, but it doesn't quite have enough pressure to, to overcome this this rise right here. And I'm filling it with a uh, garden hose to flush the system. So if I turn it up to, let's say, 60%, I don't know if you can see that, it says 60. So you come over here, and you see how much it's already. Pretty dang fast. 